Today at the WFO General Assembly, we had a very interesting discussions. Uh, a, a few policy issues that, that we discussed, and as members, we had to come, uh, with, come up with consensus on several policy issues. For example, we had a, a policy position on trade, and there was a lot of discussion around that, and at the end of the day, obviously, to build consensus amongst all the members. It is very important to raise our voice through the WFOs because uh, if we do not have the global farm organization like WFOs, it is uh, difficult to raise our voice and our voice is not heard loudly. So if we have the world farm organizations, our voice is heard loudly. So all the problems must address to the policy maker and also knowledge sharing among the farmer and farmers from country to country, from region to region. This conference is invaluable by virtue of the fact is that we get to get the opinions of farming around the world. From any country you can think of, we gather, we talk, we understand and we work through problems. I mean, like right now, I mean, if you look at farming and the need to become more green, the cost of becoming more green, and what we as farmers can do to do that legitimately to ensure that we're still viable and can still sell our crops. So yeah, I find it the most, one of, one of the most enlightening meetings I've been to in a long time by virtue of the fact is that it's not only talking about what's happening, it's actually wanting to put into action. And that's important for us. We had great debate, robust, strong debate, as you expect, with a room full of farmers on those topics of a new carbon policy, uh, reinvigorating our trade policy, and, and lots of amazing general conversations of, of the subjects that are important to farmers generally. Uh, we've talked about regenerative farming as well over this conference, and what direction that should take, and how we're involved with that, what we're doing, uh, things for climate smart agriculture, the things that farmers are doing at their own farms that they can share with each other to make it better elsewhere, and great ideas are transferred in those conversations. In the evening, the, there is always a great gathering, and uh, South Africa has put on a show like no other, and th that is the key part too, where the farmers get together, have a good time, network as well, but actually let their hair down, for those who have hair, and enjoy themselves and party up in a spirit of uh, bringing everyone together, collegialism at its best.